So I just wanted to do a little video real quick on a uh, neat little minnow bucket that I made. Um, discovered that pulling a minnow bucket in a kayak is kind of a tough thing to do. And uh, you know when you have a your typical minnow bucket that you would want to drag in the water, uh, this thing really put a lot of drag on, especially since I was using a small uh, sit-in kayak one day and it just was really pulling me back. When you're fishing in a river, uh, fishing for walleye, fishing for uh, crappie, whatever, um, especially this time of season when the water's a little bit higher, the last thing you want to do is have something dragging on you um, and keeping you slowing back. It's also pretty tough to find a place that is room in your kayak. I move this around, you see my kayak's pretty busy already. Can't sit behind me, can't go in front, got a trolling motor in the back, I uh, got batteries in the front, I got enough weight already in the kayak, so I really didn't need to have water and uh, extra weight um, in the kayak. So I basically wanted to get rid of this kayak, or that minnow bucket. And what I ended up creating was something that can drag in the water, not create a lot of drag on the uh, on pulling. Um, obviously with my trolling motor, I'm not as concerned about it as it was when I was paddling. Uh, but what I ended up doing was uh, creating something that was a little bit more streamlined, stayed in the water, um, still took good care of the fish, was easy to use, and uh, this is what I came up with. I uh, just took some PVC pipe, put a cap on the end, uh, put a downsize on here, um, smaller size, drilled a bunch of holes in it, put a, put a cap on there that I can pour the fish out with my hand, and I'm good to go. I kept a little bit of water or a little bit of uh, space in here where it didn't drain. As you can see, I only got holes in the upper half. The bottom half is so that if I do want to bring it inside the kayak, it doesn't take up a lot of space and I still have water there that can hold my minnows. A um, couple things that I've learned is make sure that your knots are tied very well. I just use uh, paracord uh, and uh, that worked really well for its size. But this is heavier than water. It will sink if you do not uh, have something to float with it. So I just put a large float on it and that sits above it. This drags in the water. It's uh, streamlined. It uh, doesn't hardly pull at all. You really don't know you have it there. The other thing I discovered is this is my second one I've built uh, because the first one the knots came untied. So make sure you either, um, here I put a little bit of uh, a shrink wrap on here to, to finalize you know, the end of the knot. Uh, and uh, make sure that it stays put. I also put an extra knot at the top above here so that this stays the same distance apart um, and it doesn't uh, go too far up the, the line. Enough, enough line on here for it to drag out behind the uh, kayak or to bring it up close and it works really well. Um, when you need your minnows, as you pick it up out of the water, half the water drains out. As you tilt it, the rest of the water drains out. You can pull a couple of minnows out into your hand, um, use the ones you want, put them back in, throw them back in the water. So, just thought I'd share that with you. Um, quick little uh, uh, project that I did. Uh, and like I said, this time of year, people are out on the river fishing for those walleye. Um, but just like if you're using minnows, this makes a nice little bucket for it. And uh, get yourself something good to eat. I'd like to finish with a public service announcement. Um, the reason I built this was so I could go out and enjoy myself on the river, catch some walleye, um, enjoy the flavor, enjoy the time on the river, and uh, just have a good time. But be very careful, especially this time of year with the high waters. Uh, Wisconsin River right now by us is extremely high, um, very fast, very cold. Uh, if you happen to fall in, you're going to be in a world of hurt very quickly. So uh, make sure you go prepared, make sure you wear your vest and uh, make sure you wear warm clothes that, uh, are, that can handle that. Um, but uh, most of all, have a good time and uh, be very careful, use common sense, especially when the uh, other boats show up uh, below the dam because that's where they all wanna be and they start crowding you out. Uh, maybe it's time to uh, find a different spot. So again, have a good time, enjoy it, and uh, tight lines.